how does a magnetic gear work? It's made from three parts, an inner magnetic rotor, magnetic field concentrator, made from a soft magnetic material like iron, and an outer magnetic rotor. The inner rotator rotates, changes how strongly the outer rotor is attracted or repelled from the adjacent concentrated nodes. Here I've included a simplified version of the magnetization of the magnets and the effective magnetization of the concentrated node, where north is red and south is blue. Black arrows are the points of significant attraction, with one completely aligned north to south, and two fairly well aligned to reach the lowest energy state. As I move the inner magnet one fifth of revolution to align with the next concentrator, the outer magnetic ring moves in the opposite direction. And once again, there is one pair completely aligned north to south and two fairly well aligned. You can see that if I rotate the inner magnetic rotor one turn, it only rotates the outer ring 90 degrees or a quarter of a turn. And I have to turn the inner magnetic rotor four revolutions to make this little guy Yahoo! get back to where he started meaning this gear has a gearing of four to one. By changing the number of magnetic pole pairs on the inner and outer rotors, you can adjust the gear ratio by dividing the outer number of pole pairs by the inner number of pole pairs. Here I have four pole pairs on the outer and one on the inner, and the number of concentrators is the number of outer poles plus the number of inner pole pairs. So that's four plus one, which equals five. Let's take a look at how the magnetic gear is assembled in Fusion 360. 